Hello, and welcome back to Is That Quote from Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, or the Bible? I'm your host, Kevin Crow, here on the Jesus Unfollower YouTube channel. It's the ultimate game of mythology and fantasy. Do you think you know where all the quotes came from? I guess we're about to find out. Up first, we have Only Death Can Pay For Life. Again, that's Only Death Can Pay For Life. We'll give you at home 10 seconds to come up with the answer. Time's up. Did you come up with the correct answer? Only death can pay for life comes from Game of Thrones. I hope you got that one right. Keep score at home to see how well you did at the end. Passage number two, we have, the dragon stood in front of the woman who was about to give birth so that it might devour her child the moment it was born. 10 seconds. And time's up. The dragon. You might be able to narrow it down to a couple of choices, but the correct answer is the Bible. The Bible. It comes from the book of Revelation. I hope you're having fun at home as we roll into passage number three. Her princes within her are like wolves, tearing the prey by shedding blood and destroying lives in order to get dishonest gain. Ten seconds. Did you guess the Bible? Because you should have. That's the second one from the Bible today. On to the next question. Is this Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, or the Bible? Dark and difficult times lie ahead. Soon we must all face the choice between what is right and what is easy. 10 seconds. What do you think it was? Do you think it was the Bible? Do you think it was Game of Thrones? Do you think it was Harry Potter? If you said Harry Potter, you're correct. You get one point. Dap yourself up. Quote number five, I hope you get this one right. Many that live deserve death, and some that die deserve life. Can you give it to them? Then do not be too eager to deal out death in judgment. Is that Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, the Bible, or Game of Thrones? Those of you who dwell in Middle Earth would know it's Lord of the Rings. Give yourself a point and a pat on the back. Congratulations. You get another point in this meaningless game. Moving on to the next passage. And we shouldn't be here at all if we'd known more about it before we started. But I suppose it's often that way. The brave things in the old tales and songs, Mr. Frodo. Ah, fuck. Well, I messed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> hey, Johnny, you want to tell him about today's sponsor? I will do just that, Kevin. Today's episode is brought to you by the patrons of this channel. If you want to support the Jesus on Follower YouTube channel, you can do so at patreon.com slash Jesus on Follower. Now back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Johnny, and thank you to all of my patrons. Quote number six, leave one wolf alive and the sheep are never safe. You can probably narrow this down to at least a couple, but which one are you going to choose? Time's up. If you said Game of Thrones, you are correct. How are you doing so far? Have you gotten most of these right? If not, let me know in the comments. Number seven. It is the unknown we fear when we look upon death and darkness. Nothing more. It is the unknown we fear when we look upon death and darkness nothing more time's up what did you say lord of the rings <laughs> that's incorrect the real answer is harry potter all right here we go we only have 10 questions this is number eight and many of those who practiced magic brought their books together and began burning them in the sight of everyone is that the bible lord of the rings game of thrones or harry potter what do you think? If you said the Bible, you are a beast. Just like the beasts that they speak of in Revelation. The Bible is the correct answer. Moving on to question number nine, the penultimate quote. And we have, war must be. 
while we defend our lives against the destroyer who would devour us all. 10 seconds. War must be while we defend our lives against a destroyer who would devour us all. That sounds like it could be Satan, does it not? But the Bible is not the correct answer. It's Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. The two towers, to be more specific. And the final passage, number 10. And I'm thinking maybe this is going to be an easy one. Maybe you can get this. If you've gotten all the others wrong, maybe you'll at least get number 10. And that is, a lion doesn't concern himself with the opinions of a sheep. Which one could that be? The correct answer is Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. The one and only Tywin Lannister. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Kevin Crow. This is the Jesus Unfollower YouTube channel. Make sure you join us next time for, is it Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, the Bible, or Lord of the Rings? And I don't remember if that's the correct order that I said at the beginning, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter. And before you go, make sure you check out this video right here. Which one is it? I don't know. It's just the one that YouTube recommends that you watch. Until next time, I'm Kevin Crow. So long.